Hey, Collective. This is your girl, Stacy. Here to do an energy read. Because I feel like it. Remember that time is fluid, so whenever you see this message, it's when you're meant to see it. It's a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone, so please let take what resonates and leave the rest. Spirit, what's the message from my collective? Let's go. Okay, we got moving on. Okay. Stepping out of one um, cycle into the next. Moving from darkness to the light. That's what I'm saying. Then we have destiny. Mm -hmm. Cycles complete. It's time to move forward. It's your destiny. Things were destined to happen the way that they did as well. Mm -hmm. It's like you're you're it's like you're you're going through multiple different timelines at the same time. That's what I'm kind of picking up. However, that is, let's see, fulfillment of wishes, wish fulfillment. We have six, ten, and nine. Fulfillment of wishes, moving on towards your destiny. And, and when you when you take this path, when you decide to step over this threshold towards your destiny, you're going to walk right into your wish fulfillment. Look, universe on the bottom of the deck. What? Yep. Fulfillment of wishes. Mm -hmm. Abundance, prosperity, and overflow. Mm -hmm. It's like this, is, this was meant to, to go this way. You were meant to walk into this new cycle. I don't know where you're coming from with the six. That's the past. That's past energy. Moving forward, I see you coming out of come. You're coming out of some kind of darkness, and you're coming into light. Mm -hmm. Spirit, what's this message? Ten is a completion. You completed this, the cycle. Mm -hmm. Why well, you got wish fulfillment, abundance, prosperity. Self-love, number nine. Mm -hmm. Self-esteem, self-worth, that kind of energy. Never having, never having to be in the energy of lack, I'm picking up. What we got here, ten of cups, look at that. Yep, I'm up. spirit said right over here after that nine. Mm -hmm. You're walking right into your ten of cups, wish for filming, you're also going to be um, finding your soul tribe as well. Yep, you're gonna start. Find, um, you're gonna walk right into or come into contact with people that are like you, that are like-minded. Um, when you get, when you walk onto this new journey, when you go through this door, you're gonna meet people that are specifically for you during this time of your life. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, take that how it resonates. You will not be alone. You will not have to worry about. You know, people uh, getting you or people accepting you. You In this season, you're walking through a door just like a few other people. So you guys are going to meet on this path. Okay? Take that hot resonance. You will not be by yourself. There are people that are already handpicked to walk with you, I heard. Look, Nine of Swords. Hmm. Regrets. Somebody could regret, you know. Um, somebody was doing something that they regret doing. But I feel like you're walking away from it. So maybe this is you, Collective. Take it how it resonates. Maybe you've had some regrets, some things that you're not proud of from your past, from this dark side, because I feel like this is you walking away from this energy. Okay? You're walking out of this darkness. It's like you, you're you're recognizing um, 
the things that have caused you to be in darkness. And we're talking about things that we do for to ourselves. We're not talking about any outside influences. We're talking about how we feel about ourselves, okay? And I feel like um, you may have been holding on to maybe, like I said, not proud of, maybe even wanting to hide some things that you've done in the past, you know? But see, see those things come, have come to light. I feel like all those things that you've been trying to hide to avoid have have shown themselves. And where does that picture that puts you in a in a humble position, a pride before the fall? You know what I'm saying? Uh, a position where, you know, you have to accept responsibility for your actions. You know, things that were hitting are coming to light, and this is happening for your good. I know you may not try to hear that. You may not feel like, but it's happening for your good because this is what spirit wants you to get over. So in order for you to get over it, it has to be exposed. It has to bring you some shame, some guilt. It has to trigger that heart space. It has to open your eyes so you can see what you're doing. No more hiding. No more trying, just, you know, trying to get through and get by with shit, you know, have trying to escape doing the, the work that you need to do on yourself. You know it. And all those things that you've been trying to hide in, here comes the sun. They're about to be exposed. You can't hide these actions no more. Now you're going to have to make a decision. Are you going to stay in this darkness over here? Or are you going to walk into the light? It's time to move on from these behaviors, these actions. It's time to move on from the past. It's time to release it. Spirit, what's this message? Three of Swords, the High Priest, Priestess, and what's this? The Strength card. Wow, look at that. Heartbreak, pain. High Priestess and the, the Empress. High Priestess and the Empress. You know your worth. You, you you have a very high intuition. I told you somebody could be a Pisces. I told you there's a lot of water out here. So I could be talking to a water sign. It don't have to be. I have Earth out here as well. So some of you guys are very much so high priest or high priestesses, okay? You're very intuitive. You're very spiritual. You're very connected to source, all right? You, you, um, you're walking in your purpose. There's some things that you've done in the past that have caused some kind of heartbreak, pain, loss, regret. Mm -hmm. I feel like these are the, some things that you try to uh, stuff, to cover up, to hide, to ignore. All right? Hope that you wouldn't really have to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? That it was never brought, it would never be brought to light. Hmm. High Priestess and the Empress. Nurturing, loving, spiritual, very intuitive. Very intuitive. Very knowledgeable. You, get, you have uh, sacred knowledge. Some of you guys could be, um, I don't, uh, I don't want to say t priest, but, you know, you could be. Take it how it resonates. Let's keep going. Empress, nurturing, loving, caring, very strong. I'm picking up somebody that's a very strong individual. Somebody that, um, it's like, it's like a mother. You know what I'm saying? Because as a mother, you know. Sometimes we don't have all the tools that we need, you know what I'm saying? And I'm only going to speak from my experience and from the experience of mothers in my community, all right, that on the same class as I'm in. That's all I can speak to. You know, a lot of times we have to be strong. We have to make a way out of no way. You know, we have to make sure that those kids get to school, even if that means we got to go 30, 40 minutes on the bus to get them to that bus stop, right? Because I know that was my story. You know what I mean? When I didn't have a car, you know, it's like we had to make it. We had to make sure them kids had them shoes. We had to make sure they had them school clothes. We had to make sure they had the immunization, them doctor's appointments, those parent-teacher conferences, all of that. You know what I'm saying? And that's what an empress is. An empress is a nurturer, 
An empress is someone that, that creates, that nurtures, that supports, that helps to build, help to grow, you know? Spirit, what's this message? You know, I'm also picking up with this high priestess and this destiny. I feel like um, you may... What do I want to say here? All I know is you're very, very spiritual and you're very intuitive. I feel like you're somebody that you get downloads, you get messages, you connect to... You, you probably um, you channel messages. Okay, I'm just going to leave that alone. Spirit said, leave it alone. All right. Mm -mm. The Empress, wish fulfillment. Walking towards your destiny. Mmm. Understanding. Wow. Understand. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. Wow. Let me tell you what Spirit just showed me. Everything that you've gone through, you've had to go through... It was already written in the book of life. You already know that. You already know that in order for you to get to this empress energy, this high priestess empress energy, you had to go through this journey. Wow. You had to go through that to get to where you are. And this was your destiny, right up under the tent of destiny. Wow. Ooh, look at that. Yep, you had to you had to go through you had to carry those swords, those burdens, those um what is, that, what is the word I'm looking for, spirit? It was it was as if it was um a training for you. I mean, I'm talking about the pain, the deception, the heartbreak, the uh betrayals, everything. Everything you had you went through was already written. In order to make you into this empress. You hear me? Mm, 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 mm. It was your, it was, it don't feel like it, but it was your rite of passage, I heard. Mm. You had to overcome. It was already destined for you to, to have, damn. Remember when I, when I said that. You're somebody that could have been um, living two or three different timelines at the same time. Come on, spirit. There was a lot of challenges that you overcame, that you had to go through. It was like a ritual, something that you had to go through, like an initiation. Come on, spirit. Yes. This was an initiation. This was an initiation for you. Yes, it was. To get you to this uh, wish fulfillment, this Ten of Cups, you had to go through. Whatever you had to go through, it was part of your destiny. In order for you to come out on the other end, you had to learn some things. You had to learn how to handle things. You had to learn how to handle tough times, hard times, times when maybe you, you didn't have anything. You know, it's like, okay, say you didn't have food and stuff like that and you got kids. See, Spirit was testing you. Are you going to go steal it? Are you going to go take from others or are you going to go, you know, pray on it and do the right thing and go ask for the help that you need and do it in that way? You hear me? Come on, spirit. Come on now. Mm-hmm. It was, it was as if to see if you were going to step off of your path or, or, you were, or were you going to endure the hard times and the tribulations and the trials to get you to the other side because there was valuable lessons. It was about you staying strong in the midst of adversity. You hear me? Not turning your back in the midst of adversity, but pushing through, persevering, because perseverance creates character. You hear me? You hear me? Something that they can't take away from you. You hear me? You earn this. Spirit, what's this message? And that's why you're being blessed. That's why you're getting this wish fulfillment, this overflow, okay? And that's why you're being led into... Um, a, a new land, I'm hearing, a land where there's others that have been through that are equally yoked. Come on, spirit. See, see, once you've gone through this, this, uh, initiation period, it's like you can't have people around you that were back 
in your past because they haven't passed the initiation period. They wouldn't know how to handle the situations and things that you're about to get. See, they'll fuck it up. They haven't learned the, the process of not having and busting your ass and putting in the dirt, the grind work to get it. Because when you have to put it in like that, when you have to get it out the mud, you appreciate it more. Thank you, spirit. So this initiate was you gonna are you gonna earn it or you gonna steal it or you gonna try to go to the back door or you gonna try to take shortcuts because much is given, much is required. Are you gonna let people around you that all they want to do is take from you? You had to learn those hard lessons. People that you loved and you cared about, but all they really wanted was to take what you had. You had to learn those hard lessons. So when you get this blessing, you're going to know what to do with it. You're going to know who to trust and who you can't trust. Come on, spirit. What's this message? what I say? <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, baby. Listen, it's been hidden, too. It was hiding in the bush. Spirit friendly guides you right to it. Come on, spirit. Mm-hmm. Ooh -wee. Listen, I can't make it up. I cannot make it up. You crossed the finish line. You aced your test. You passed the test. You've gone through the trials and tribulations to get you to listen. Eight of Wands, forward movement, baby. Come on now. And it's coming. Unstoppable movement. You hear me? <laughs> Four of Wands. Hmm. I feel like this is this is a period of time where you can um relax. It's like you I'm I'm hearing you won't have to go through any more of those trials and tribulations moving forward. Not those trials and tribulations. Oh no, because in this next level it's gonna be some new ones. Okay? But you ready for it. Because it's going to be totally different. It ain't going to be nothing like what you had back then. Those things that you have overcome, you will not have to repeat those again. Hello. Thank you, Spirit. Now, it's just about you resting, relaxing, and figuring out where you go from here. Okay? Thank you, Spirit. What's this message? Recovering. Being able to, to sit back now because you've overcome. You've done it. You can rest now. You can catch your breath now. You can decide, okay, which way do I go now? Where do I do? What, what's the next? What I got to do next? You know what I'm saying? To get to this next level. But in the meantime, take a breather. Take five, spirit, while you research and figure out what you need to move forward, to keep going. Who tower? Come on, spirit. Mm, reorganization. Seven of Cups. Hmm. Four of Swords, a tower. Foundations falling. Old thoughts, patterns, behaviors, situations, gone. Gone. No more. Nope. Anything, you'll never see people, places, and things the same ever again. That's what the tower is. The tower is the mentality. Okay? It also could be a home, you know, all depends on what's going on with the story, you know what I'm saying, with the words, with the cards. What I thought I knew, what was meant to destroy me, this is what this tower's for. It's because, like, you know how, you know, over years, you go through a lot, you know, you go through whatever you go through from childhood on up, and then you get to a place where it's like, you're in this place where you're about to move into this next level. And it's like, with this four swords kind of energy, now it's like, you're sitting, you're at this, you're like right in the middle. Everything has already happened. The tower has fallen. And it's like, now there's nothing. It's nothing but rubble. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's like, now, where are you going to go? But with your mindset, you're looking at life different. All right, you're not looking at life through those painful lenses, through that traumatic lens. Now you're looking at life through I got this kind of lens. I'm not going to let that hold me back kind of lens. You've overcome all the pain of uh what somebody did to you how many years ago. You hear me? They don't tr it doesn't trigger you like that. We got the lovers. You got choices. You see what I'm saying? Choices in your connections. This is new. After the tower, this is new. 
new love, new people, new relationships, new unions, new commitments, new collaborations, all of that. Okay? Now this is the rebuilding period for you. Spirit, what's that? What's this with this love? This is your rebuilding period. Some of you could get new new partners. Take it how it resonates. New jobs, new homes, new cities, whatever it is with the lovers. It's, you know, could be love. What's this? Nine of Wands, you're very guarded. Oh, so you know what else I just heard too? This has changed your whole perspective on love as well, on how you choose people. You don't see relationships the way you used to see them. You're very guarded now. You're very protective over your relationships, over the, over your energy, period. Because, see, when you have to go through a whole lot, it's not so easy for you to just let anybody come into your life. You're very guarded in that respect. Anybody would be, you know what I'm saying, after some trauma, after having to go through ups and downs and and that, you know what I'm saying, heartache, pain, sadness, you know, defeat, disappointment. Yeah, it makes you very skeptical about having people in your life. And I'm not just talking about lovers. I'm talking about friends, family, whoever it is, you know, because you feel like you have to guard your heart. You have to guard your emotions, you know. So I see that in you. As much as you are loving and caring and nurturing and love to help people, it's like you still have to put up healthy boundaries because people will still try to come in and take advantage of you. You know what I'm saying? But see, you've already learned that lesson. You're not in that energy anymore. You've overcome that. That has caused a great deal of pain for you. You had to go through that pain in order to learn how to stop doing it, stop allowing it. You hear me? Spirit, what's this message? Ace of Cups, my goodness. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Look at this. The Fool, yes. You are ready. You are ready. You are ready. We got a king. Look at this. King of Cups and Queen of Cups. Listen, you are ready, and so is your partner. And so is your partner. Listen, the Strength card, I'm telling you. Yes. And this and this partner, whoever this is, that could be coming into your life, because you already got the ten of cups out here, baby. So you know it's coming. Whoever this is, this person is very is ready emotionally. They're fit, okay. This person could be a little older than you. Take it how it resonates. A lot of water out here. I gotta be. I got queen and king of cups right out here looking. Hmm. What's this? Eight of swords. You got the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Swords here surrounding this lovers. You got the Tower. Spirit, what is this? What is this King of Cups, Queen of Cups, and the Eight of Swords? Because somebody feels trapped. Somebody feels like they can't move forward. I don't know if this was... Um, a tower between the king and queen of cups, the lovers, because they are a match. They are look, look, ten of pen, look at this, ten of pentacles, ace of cups. Somebody's not sure. Somebody feels somebody could be just scared with this eight of swords. Hmm. What is this? The death card ending. What is this spirit? King and Queen of Cups, Eight of Swords, feeling trapped, Ten of Pentacles, and an ending. Somebody, somebody could at literally really be so guarded that they feel like if they do get this Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, it's like somebody thinks it's going to end. Two of swords. Yeah. Five of wands. <clears throat> Somebody's stuck in their head. Somebody doesn't trust the process. Somebody's really, really guarded. Somebody feels like if they... Somebody doesn't trust that this 
is, you know, get ten of cups, ten of pentacles. Somebody's very guarded. They want to take a leap of faith, but somebody's scared that if they let their guard down, that something's going to... See, this is somebody that's been traumatized. This is somebody that's been traumatized in relationships. Somebody's, yeah, you got to be careful. Whatever, you, let me just say, I feel like somebody's trapped in their mind because of past experiences. Mm-hmm. Somebody went through a whole lot. I don't know if like this, if somebody's been married before and a commitment before where they were, they were betrayed big time. This could be even both of you. Take it how it resonates, okay? Somebody was betrayed big time. And now somebody's in the energy if they don't trust putting their, letting their guard down, even though this person is their match. This person's scared to take that leap of faith. What's going to happen here, spirit? Somebody's scared. Somebody's been hurt a lot. Even though they're walking in th into a new cycle in their life, they've overcome a lot of things. Somebody's very guarded, though, because there was a lot. This There was a lot of pain that somebody has gone through. Yeah, there was, there's some scars here. There's definitely some scars here. A lot, the trust, I feel like somebody doesn't have, somebody's trust is like uh, locked away with concrete poured over the box and then stuck in a cave with a big ass rock over it. That's how somebody feels. That's the, somebody's energy. Somebody's like, yeah, look, judgment, I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. Yep, Nine of Pentacles. Woo wee. Somebody's been alone for some time too. Look at this, y'all. This is somebody that's been by themselves for a long time. They stable and everything, but as far as allowing anybody in, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Yep, because what I'm seeing is somebody is, is so trapped. Somebody really needs to have some more healing to do. They feel so trapped in their emotions, and because of things that have happened, it's like somebody doesn't trust themselves. Somebody's had to really go through and get through a lot of obstacles on their own. And they had to do it on their own because they were alone. They didn't have the support that they needed. They didn't have anybody around them that they could trust. People that were around them betrayed them a lot. I don't know what your purpose is, whoever I'm talking to, but the, the amount of betrayal and pain that you had to endure to get to this place, God must have, this got to be a, a huge blessing because... I'm telling you, the mental state that a weaker person would have gone through from what I'm picking up would, would have lost their mind. Mm -hmm. They would have lost their mind. I know it. They wouldn't have been able to handle it. Because I could still pick up the energy. Even though you moved through it, even though you've overcome those obstacles, it's like it's still, it's like, you, it's like a child putting their hand in a fire, in the fire, you know what I'm saying, and getting a bad burn. It's like they traumatized for the rest of their life, right? Come on, spirit. That's that kind of energy I'm picking up. Somebody was really was burned really, really bad, and now it's like they traumatized for scar, mental scars. That's what I'm picking up. Listen, I can't make it up. Mental scars. What's the judgment, spirit? Yeah, I feel like you're calling judgment, and with the nine of pentacles that came out with the judgment, it's like you're you're just like preferring to stay by yourself because you feel safer that way. You feel like you can protect your heart, you can protect your energy, you can protect it, your your investment, your environment. If if you don't let anybody in, if nobody comes in, they can't mess it up. You know, you hear me? Because I've, I've somebody had to do a lot of work, and like I said, a, a lesser strength person possibly would have you know had a mental breakdown or something to that effect because I could see it but somebody persevered somebody refused somebody's like no but 
there's still some psychological damage that was done here. Thank you, Spirit. Three of Wands. Trying to figure it out. That's what I think you're doing. Trying to figure out which direction to go and what's safe for you. But Spirit already said it's, already, it's safe. I feel like you moving forward, it doesn't matter which direction you go in. You're leaving behind whatever this was. You've overcome these things. Although it's you can still feel it, it's still present. You know what I'm saying? In your mind, maybe. But you do, you got to understand, it's like you're very guarded now. As you should be. You know, as you should be. Spirit, what's this message? Love, meditation, yes, four of cups. And that's that energy of, well, we got the six of pentacles, the hierophant, and the queen of pentacles. Um, I lost my train of thought now. The card's gone because I seen it quickly out the corner of my eye. What's this? Two of swords. You guard it. It's like you're not really um, sharing what's going on with you. I feel like you you could be isolated. You know, you could be by yourself. And I feel like you're trying to figure out which way do you want to go. Now that you got to this place that you've overcome those battles, now you're at the top of the mountain. You can relax. You can rest now, right? And try to figure out where you go from here. Come on, spirit. You're a warrior. Damn. And it, you know what the energy I'm picking up? I'm picking up the energy of you're a warrior. You rather, not that you rather, but it's like you're in this energy of fighting, not loving. You know what I mean? It's like you don't have love on your mind. You have, how the hell am I going to do this by myself on your mind? What's next? What's the next challenge? It ain't love. Love ain't on your mind. I don't feel like it. But spirit, let's see what's happening here. Because I see a lot of this work that you're doing, you're doing it by yourself. Nine of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. I feel like you're doing a lot of this by yourself. The Empress. The only only other masculine or other, you know, partner card out here is this King of Cups. And you. And what you've been through. And you got somebody over here. Or maybe this was somebody that you were in a relationship with. That this tower has happened. King of Swords. You see how he flew out there? King of Swords. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this may have been somebody that was very ruthless. Very cold. Very mean-spirited. Controlling. This could have been somebody you were married to. This could have been part of your, um, your trauma. Yeah. And see, now especially if you was married to this person... So, when you're married, you know, I'm not saying that's for everybody, but according to the Bible, you know, you surrender. You you, you, you come vulnerable. The, the, the man is the head of the family, of the relationship. He's the leader, right? So, if you, with this Queen of Cups energy, you're very loving, nurturing, and caring. I feel like you may have submit, been submissive in this relationship, which is another reason why you, it hurts so bad. Because when you release your own power to someone else that you feel like it's gonna you can trust that's supposed to have your back especially under the eyes of God right when you take those vows I feel like somebody traumatized you male or female this could be a woman doing this to a man honey believe it a man can be vulnerable and 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 decide to give his all to a woman and all she really wanted was the finances you hear me come on that happens you know it yeah, so this could have been somebody that you were married to or in a commitment or some kind of family dynamic or some kind of, you know, dynamic that may, could, may have caused a lot of your trauma too because that's, you're, you're being vulnerable, you know what I'm saying? That's like when you have kids and your kids hurt you. Man, listen, remember the Menendez brothers and all them other kids that run out killing off their parents and shit for money and this and that. I'm just saying, listen to the birds. Those are situations where you allow yourself to be vulnerable and trusting. You don't suspect. You don't have your guard up. Your alerts are not on for somebody that's supposed to care about you, right? Come on, spirit. That's all I'm saying. That's how we get get hurt a lot of the time. It be those people that those unsuspecting people, those people that you know, 
in a perfect world are the ones that have your back. You know what I mean? Well, let's keep going. Look, Chariot, yes. You're moving forward, baby. It's destined for this to happen. It was destined. Listen, look at that. Justice. It's time now. It's time for the scales to be balanced in your favor. And they are. They're being balanced in your favor. You have gone through the initiation. You've overcome. You learned the lessons. You made it through. As painful as it was, because I know it was. You did. You made it through. You made it through. And, and let me just say this too. Okay, because I heard if this was meant to happen this way, what happens to the other people, right? The people that create the conflict and chaos in our lives, right? Let me tell you something. They're on a journey as well. You were a lesson for them. Don't think that when people do things to you or, or feel like they got away with something that they did. Oh, absolutely not, love. No. Because, see, they have their own lessons they got to learn. Everybody has a purpose. And then when, when, when they get on that chessboard and God moves them into position and they bump into each other, it was meant to go that way. Because you, even though you got hurt, you taught somebody else a lesson as well. You may not even know nothing about it. They're going to get a lesson for how they treat people as well. They're going to be treated the same way they treated you. So stop worrying about people getting back, baby. Everybody's here for a lesson. Everybody's here for a lesson. Everybody's got to go through this initiation period. Whether they do it today or they do it next lifetime, it don't matter. They can stay in the South Node until 10, 50, 60 lifetimes. You have, they will not elevate until they go through the initiation. You understand? And in order to have all of this stuff take place, everybody has a part to play, good or bad. We played a bad part in the beginning until we started to learn them lessons, didn't we? Because a sinner is just a saint that's fallen and then got up. Come on, spirit. Man, listen, higher fun. And that's the lesson for today. I'm done. <laughs> All right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the message as much as I enjoyed giving it to you. I will see y'all in the next one. Deuces.